Let's talk about haboobs. Not talking about uh, anything that unusual in this part of the country. Check it out. We're talking about Arizona, where they recently experienced a large dust storm that is known as a haboob. Now it moved across the city uh, and, in fact, enveloped the football stadium at Arizona State University. We probably saw that video if you're watching us uh, earlier on. But here's a look at what haboobs are. It's an intense dust storm carried by strong winds that come out of usually the downdraft of a thunderstorm or a downburst out of a thunderstorm. Why are they called haboobs? I know it's a funny sounding name, but it comes from the Arabic word hab, which means to blow like a gusty strong wind. And it was used originally to describe these sand sandstorms and dust storms that occurred in the North African region. It is the technical definition of a dust storm, a haboob. Now, what is the difference? Where do they come from? What is, uh, where do they uh, occur in the world? Well, they're very common in arid and semi-arid regions, also known as deserts worldwide. They're most notable in the Sahara Desert, also the Arabian Peninsula, which would be like Saudi Arabia and those surrounding areas, Sudan and North Africa, but they also occur in the United States Southwest, especially in Arizona and in New Mexico. Now, what causes haboobs? Well, they're formed when thunderstorm downdrafts quickly push air onto the ground. Of course, the ground is very dusty in the desert if it hasn't rained there in particular, and it lifts that dust up and creates just a wide wall of dust and sand that blows out in all directions. So the outflow lifts up that loose sand and dust. It creates a towering wall of debris that can actually be pretty hazardous. They can extend miles wide and even reach several thousand feet up into the sky. It creates very low visibility near zero, and it also could be very damaging if you don't have eye protection on and you have a 50 or 60 mile per hour blowing uh, wind, blowing sand and dust in your eyes. That could be a big problem. One thing you may not think about with a dust storm or a haboob is that it actually comes out of thunderstorms. And so I have this radar backed up to yesterday, centered over Phoenix. And this is a look at what happened during the afternoon and evening hours in Phoenix. They had not only thunderstorms blow right over the city, but severe thunderstorms. So they were actually uh, experiencing heavy rain, the chance for very high winds, a severe thunderstorm warning. And yes, on top of that, this dust storm or so-called haboob that moved in along with the rain. So when thunderstorms happen in the desert, it's actually a lot more complicated kind of dynamic than when thunderstorms hit here. We're mainly just worried about the water. When thunderstorms hit out there, the wind can kick up a dust storm that in the world of meteorology is known as a haboob.